Seconds out, round three. Stone Murphy just recovering from five stitches in a finger. But uh, apparently he's okay now. If only I could have talked to him, I could have found out which finger he damaged, but uh, maybe we can, we can see by the action. Doesn't seem to be taking much notice of any of his fingers at the moment. Certainly not holding back at all on either hand. this move from his dad, Roy Bull Davis, he used to do a lot of this, had his man back to canvas, and of course all perfectly legal as long as he does it with the right part of the arm. A couple of minutes left in the third. He's uh, trying a sleeper, I think, there. The referee, highly suspicious that he is, still got that right hand there. One. Uh, a back elbow and a public warning for that. What else could the referee, the referee do? The referee gives the first public warning to Skull Murphy. And he's still attacking with his man on the deck. But if he continues with that, he really will be on his way to disqualification. Which the crowd are shouting for already after that. Yes, yeah, too late, too late to follow up. And he still does it when he's told. Not to. oh, 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 he's pushing the referee away now. That's not the way to avoid a disqualification. Wisely waiting for him in the center of the ring rather than following to his corner. Fifteen seconds. Now it's a little bit late now, there's only three seconds to go from now. Pete Roberts a little bit mad now, pulling the referee aside to try and get his man in the interval. Well, there he is, Murphy, having got one public warning against him for that. I mean, he attacked his man long after the, the move was finished. There's the finger. There's the finger with the five stitches that were in it. Seconds out, round four. So it's the forefinger of his left hand, but he certainly hasn't shown too much bother with it so far today. Round four, five rounds to go, and still no score, but Murphy in the, the, the snazzy gear on the left with the stars on his legs. Now, one public warning against him. Two falls to the side of him. And surely much too late again. Emil Poilv, the referee, is being really patient with him. Robert's down in the, in the throat and in the top row. And that's putting him, oh, that's very dangerous to get a submission. Yeah. A really dangerous looking submission hold there by Murphy. And he gets the submission in round four. With just one minute, ten seconds gone. almost like a chicken wing from a different angle that I don't think I've ever seen that hole produced. Highly dangerous looking move. 
Real neck breaker. In one minute, ten seconds of round four. First submission of the contest goes to the red corner and Skull Murphy. Well, the crowd don't like it too much, but Pete Roberts certainly doesn't. He's still worried about that. He'll have to come back in a few seconds to the center of the ring. Seconds to the ring, round five. Well, Murphy's waiting for him as we start round five. Four to go. And Roberts trailing by that one submission. He must not get in that position again. Murphy will try the same move if he can get it. Roberts working out that the attack is the best form of defense. And it's working. Roberts will get a public warning for that if he's not careful. Being reminded. Roberts going over the top there to a back of a position with a double wrist lock. At least it's holding Murphy steady at the moment. The punch coming in the back that we can see, but the ref can't. You might have seen that last one. Roberts knows about it, though. Single leg Boston Roberts. Almost there. So that he's got the wrong leg under the wrong arm there, but he's still got the single leg Boston on. And he could get an equalizing submission from this. He's got a minute to do it. No. Didn't work for him, so he finishes with a weakener on that move. And I'll have to start again. Nice leg trip. Beautifully grabbed there by Roberts. Perfect timing. And the step over toe hole, but still facing the rock towards his man. One, two, and get up now. Three, four. Twenty seconds. Six, seven. Roberts taking over a bit now with just a little more than 10 seconds to go. Punch right to the stomach. Now the referee surely must have spotted that. He still says it's the heel of the hand, but it was definitely a clenched fist on the bell anyway. Pete Roberts. Pete Roberts, who, uh, as I say, just came back from uh, the Far East. And he met a guy, a great big American, called uh, Hulk Hogan. Hogan's by the current film of Sil Sylvester Malone, Rocky III. And he's one of the greatest, biggest men in America at the moment. And he had real trouble with that guy, he's telling me. Seconds out, round six. One six, three to go. And still Murphy leading Roberts by one submission to nil, but with one public warning against him. And there he is, not too keen on coming out of his corner. Pointing to his left thigh. But obviously waiting for Roberts to come nearer. And the pressure points. And Roberts. The greatest slowing down move. And again, still got one, one side of the neck there. And Roberts falls back with his feet right underneath him. There. Shouldn't have been any too comfortable a, a fall. 
And a switch and a good posting by Roberts this time. Oh, yes, Roberts waiting for him. A lovely backdrop. Now Roberts coming back into it now. Yes, the drag backdrop again. Over the top cross press. Could be danger for Skull Murphy here. And it is. The equalizing submission in just one minute, 12 seconds of round six to Roberts. Equalizing fall, I should say, over Murphy's earlier submission. In one minute, 12 seconds of round six, the equalizing fall goes to Super Destroyer. Yes, yeah, Super Destroyer, Pete Roberts, got that name when he was uh, fighting tag teams in Japan, and it's, it's, it's stuck to him. But it was an equalizing fall, of course, with that cross press, one score each, and that's the point. Second slithering, round seven. Round seven, two to go, one each. Roberts, remember, in the plain black trunks on the right there. Oh, yes, the great body check. Timed it beautifully. Over the... Roberts really going in hard now. Using the skill we know he's got. Not allowing Murphy any time to think at all. Check perfect again by Roberts. He times it beautifully. He follows over the top of that rather loose press, but it's not going to work no, for him. No. He's going for the side headlock instead. No, Rob. No. A couple minutes left. Uh, oh. I don't know what part of the arm hit Roberts, but it certainly looked like a clenched fist to me. Oh, yes. Roberts right over the top. And I think he was sent there intentionally, and the referee is reminding Murphy illegal to intentionally to throw the man over the top rope. Caught him right in the guts, had a public warning, and out. That, that's it. The referee's going to stand no more after one public warning. Disqualification on Murphy, and Roberts the winner, although he's on his back in his own corner. referee has disqualified Murphy. A winner on a disqualification, Super Destroyer, Pete Roberts. And be with us in just a moment or two for Steve McCoy versus Barry Douglas, a heavyweight bout.